lungs, rash, now excessive RR variability. Go. It's a hospital, there are lots of doctors who could take care of him. Your thinking is that only you guys are qualified to sit in this room doing nothing. If you're motivated by caring, just bear in mind that he's a dedicated chemistry teacher with a pretty wife, an adoring students, baby on the way. She's not pregnant. Would it make a difference? Because I could knock her up. Autonomic dysregulation. Shut up! You guys keep it down. You made it, bud. You're in the PACU. You've been in surgery. The anesthesia's just wearing off. Did I have an epidural? Uh, no. But I can't feel my legs. Dr. Chase? Over I know who you are. Good. Think you're up for answering a couple questions? Well, it's not like I can get up and run away. That was my best joke. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm smiling because for the last... 12 hours I've been picturing you with orange hair. I tied it back. Were you angry with Dr. House? It was a prank. It wasn't uncommon. So I've heard. It doesn't mean you couldn't get angry might actually contribute to that reaction. Can I ask why that matters? Are you trying to prove that I was distracted? That my judgment was compromised? Who do you think was at fault for what happened to you, Dr. Chase? Again, why does it matter? You're a smart doctor. You know what happened here better than anyone, and you've worked with Dr. House longer than anyone. And I suspect that you've spent every minute since this has happened trying to answer that very question. I don't think it was anyone's fault. I was angry, but I wasn't distracted. And I think that if there's any chance I'm gonna walk again, it's because Dr. House is a genius. What about warmth? Can you feel the sheets on your skin? I just said I don't feel anything. Objectivity House. What about? Post-traumatic syringomyelia. Syrinx formed in the subarachnoid space, blocking the flow of cerebrospinal fluid. I mean the damage was permanent. No. Forget the nerves. House, if it's total paralysis, he must have- Not necessarily. Think arteries. Blood flow to his spinal column is cut off. It's a clot in the radicular artery. That could be fixable. Prep a room for an embolectomy. Let's get that thing out of there before it does any more damage. And if it's not a clot? You can ask Foreman if hospital insurance covers ramp vans. You're through the aorta. There. Sensory level is at L5. Must be the descending branch. Can I see the monitor? Stop there. Shoot the die. There it is. Don't get too excited. You still gotta get it out. You still could've done permanent damage. Patient does not have autonomic dysregulation. There's blood in his urine bag, kidneys are failing. House, not now. Gotta be now. Foreman is transferring our guy to Princeton General as soon as there's a bed available. Says the doctors here can no longer be objective since the stabbing. In the middle of a procedure that could basically save your life, House is actually trying to drag people away? How do you work with a guy like that? He wasn't trying to pull anybody away. Everyone had already refused to work on that case. He knew the answer. He wanted to check on me, but he needed an excuse. Otherwise, he could be accused of caring. 
So, your testimony is that Dr. House's complete lack of concern is evidence of his deep concern? Did you just do that? What? Wiggle your toes. Do you feel that? Congratulations. It was the clot. Short occlusion time of the artery. When the swelling goes down, you should gain back at least some of the function. One more thing, sorry. You knew that your patient was at risk for a psychotic break when you brought a scalpel within his reach. Why did you ignore that risk? I thought I was right about the rash. I would do it again. I thought so. Well, that's it. I thought so. What the hell does that mean? You brazenly defied your boss. Now, that happened either because Dr. House has established that that's okay in his world, or his prank war distracted you, or House makes medicine a game and you just wanted to beat him. Whatever the reason, it boils down to the fact that you may never walk again because House created an atmosphere that promotes recklessness. firing wire into the Vicodin bottle without me noticing. What did I even have to? What was the point of the orange hair? Your hair smelled like Adam's. It's just, there's no way that you're doing her without me knowing. It means you're just doing her shampoo. Which means you were out late drinking with some new girl, or because there is no new girl. You're trying to make up time by showering at the hospital. You're too lazy to buy your own shampoo. So I found a way to let you know to not be late. You couldn't just ask me to stop being late? What fun would that be? None of this is fun, House. They decided that you were being stabbed. It was nobody's fault. They're wrong. I'm sorry. Anything else? Kind of busy. <laughs> <laughs> 